bow chamber okay now what it is okay um, is we have uh, alcohol vapor that is kept very cold the bottom plate here okay is kept at about minus 32 degrees okay now what we do though is you can see this little drip thing here that little drip is alcohol that is being pumped up and then inside this okay is a little wire causing it to evaporate at a slightly higher uh, rate than it would normally do being that cold okay uh, it's not boiling in any way but it's causing alcohol vapor that alcohol vapor then as it's sinking around and it's cold at the bottom condenses okay and you can probably see okay very very sort of bits of cloud uh, that is condensing okay and just in terms of vapor now whenever you want to show the okay, uh, <coughs> some sort of uh, vapor when it condenses it usually does at a place where there's either a bit of dust that's it you know because it then can attach to it or anything that's at a lower energy now it turns out that when there is an ion in there whether it be the electron okay or, or an ion that's been cre uh, created by radioactivity it will then condense onto that and then others nearby condense onto that as well so what this is doing is showing us the tracks of the ionizing radiation okay so what we can see okay is only the two dimensional ones the ones that are coming this way and going straight through make a little dot if that okay so just have a look for a while make sure you can see you can see from the sides as well if you look lower down okay i think we've lost one he doesn't know where to come back to he doesn't what hamish yeah hamish. <laughs> just just leave him <laughs> he'll be fine you see hamish just give him a shout What's the sandwich turns on like that? That's, that's a refrigerator. It's a re this is yeah. more or less just a refrigerator. And it, you know how you hear your refrigerator turning yeah. on and off in the same sort of way? This is doing exactly the same. It's a bit like, also like an air conditioning unit. Okay? So it cools it down for a bit. Now, the alcohol vapour that we use is, is quite um, uh, pure. It's, I think, 99.97% alcohol. Okay. Nice. No, drinking it would you would die? Yes. Well, how, how much? Drops a match in there. What, what if you just had like a thimble of it? A thimble of it, then you will die slower. Oh, right. <laughs> Drop a match in it. That'll be funny. Just watch it burn. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. So, okay, I would thing. say you should be able to notice, okay, three distinct types of tracks. Okay, see if we can spot those three distinct types of tracks. Okay, very rarely there's another type, but three are usually quite common. Right, have you seen a short fat one yeah. uh, okay it's very it's straight okay in here hamish it's very straight there's a good one that we just see on there uh and okay when it's uh very straight it's but it's only short distance that is an alpha particle okay an alpha particle as we will discover it's made of a helium nucleus Okay, with two protons and two neutrons. It is traveling at about 5% the speed of light. But you may say, oh, well, that track doesn't look that fast. No. Remember, the track is not the radioactive particle. It's what's left behind. Okay. Then you might see meandering ones. Okay, that sort of go different directions and things from there. That is a beta particle. 
okay, it can be moving anywhere between 1% and 99% the speed of light, okay, but it is significantly lighter than the alpha particle, it's about 8,000 times lighter. As a consequence, when it comes across something, it bounces off and can change direction. Whereas the alpha particle, being 8,000 times more massive, tends to hit something and keep going, hit something and keep going, hit something, and eventually it, it hits enough. Okay, it slows down. What's the third type of track then you can see? Long straight. Long straight ones, yes. So long straight ones, okay, are more likely to be another type of exotic particle, such as a pion or a muon. Okay, a pion is a type of meson. Okay, uh, we only get it due to cosmic rays. Okay, and also a muon is a type of particle which is more or less exactly the same as an electron, except it's 208 times heavier. Okay, now if you think about this, we are in the depths of this building. Okay, there's not too many windows aside, the walls are quite thick. The roof is quite thick, the floor is quite quick, thick, but we're still getting particles coming from here. We're still getting cosmic ray particles going through here, which means cosmic ray particles have no problem pa passing through thick walls. Okay. But here's a question though for you. If the alpha particles only travel about five centimeters how come i'm seeing them wait so all the particles you're seeing the one they leave behind aren't you? yeah yeah so all how the particles in there or yeah they are, exactly the alpha particles are actually in there well or the nuclei that creates those alpha particles is in there so there are unstable nuclei in everything that is here you are radioactive to a small extent. <laughs> the food you eat is radioactive to sir. Have you been drinking the alcohol? You certainly seem unsteady enough. Okay. So <clears throat> all the things, parts of this will be radioactive. All of the bits around. And of course, it turns out that what we have is in the air is uh, radon. Okay. Gas is radioactive and emits alpha particles. Okay, any questions about this then? So the whole point of this setup, okay, is quite clever, okay, it cost uh, 38,000 euros, okay, yeah, it's quite expensive, okay, probably m more now, now that we're no, no longer in the EU, okay, but what we're trying, uh, what this is trying to do is very clever, it's using alcohol to make a super saturated vapor, which means it will condense on anything that is there. Okay. And it's got a wire to cause it to evaporate more. You'll even see wires across the bottom, just under here on, the, on this, this metal bits of aluminium. And that's to heat the top so that we don't get condensation on the top of the glass. Okay. And then, okay, down there is the cool surface that is making it the vapor so it's ready to condense like a cloud on any impure particles and it shows us that what we're doing is we're seeing lots of ions uh, tra tracks left behind okay turns out that what happens is the you can see it flowing can't you the vapor falls off the edges gets condensed fully and then it's pumped back up through here. So the whole process is repeating itself. Okay. If you were to come along and, and see every, if you waited a very long time, you would actually see some amazing uh, particles, but they're very rare. Okay. If you're very lucky, you can see one which actually cause changes into different ones as it goes through. Okay. So which of the tracks that you see do you think would be most damaging to you if you were to in inhale them? Alpha. Alpha. Okay, yeah, so the short fat one. Okay. 
Which outside of your body do you think is the most damaging ones? Well, the long straight track ones. Okay? Because they're clearly going far enough and they must be going through you, through you as well. As dangerous as the alpha on the inside? No. Okay? If a particle can go straight through you, chances are it's not going to do much damage to you. Okay? If a particle goes in you and gets stopped, it's giving its energy up to you. Okay? Any questions, chaps?